Hey guys, welcome to another Model Kit Monday. And today we're going to take a be, be taking a look at another Gundam kit. And this is old school Gundam. So we're going to take a look today at the um, MS-09F Dom Troopa. The Principality of Xeon uh, mass production Valiant type mobile suit. I thought that was interesting, Valiant. But we're going to take a look at this one. This is the brown type. Um, there are two. There's the standard purple and, and black and gray. But from what I understand, that the brown type actually comes with more stuff in the kit, which was probably why it's a bit more, like a couple bucks more expensive. But all right, let's get this guy over to the table, crack him open, and see what comes inside. Sit tight. This is the uh, MS-09F Dom Troopa Xeon Mobile Suit, the Valiant type. I don't know what that means. That's the high grade. And this is the brown version. Like I said, there's two versions. And from what I understand, the brown version comes with more accessories than the blue version, or the, the purple version. So, I went with the brown. Well, I also... Not that it really matters, but I'm going to... Put this guy with the other desert type units that I have. So there's that. All right, let's take a look at everything that's in this box. All right, first thing we have is the instruction manual. Some really good artwork there of the Dom. And some more artwork. It's very cool. Oh, I love the line art. And you got them there. And there's the instructions there wow that's pretty straightforward that's literally like three pages of instructions yeah <laughs> there's three pages of instructions so you can't uh you can't go wrong with that all right here we have the a sprue and you've got the front face plate plate the cockpit there's some small parts there. It looks like fingers. Yeah, it looks like little, little fingers. Could this have articulated fingers? I don't know. And then you've got the big old bells, bell bottoms for the legs. <laughs> Look at the size of those, man. Here we have the beast brew. You got all that nice chocolate brown. There's the back skirt. There's some part of the torsos there. Some more upper torso. There's some front armor, shoulders. Some of the feet, midsection, pretty cool. All right, here we have the C sprue. Uh, more parts there. There's the feet. Look how big those feet are. And there's hands. Look how big those mitts are. This looks like the the heat blade. Just one piece, so you're gonna have to paint that. And it's kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. Here we have the D sprue, and there's double. You go there. Here is the PS01 sprue. And I believe this is where you get some of the extra things. Don't quote me, but I believe like you get the extra magazines here. You um you get extra magazines for the beam bazooka, the Panzer Faust or whatever these are called. They look like Panzerfaust, don't they? Here we have the F sprue. Just some more brown parts. Looks like oh, those little locking bolts on the shoulder, the elbows, and stuff like that. And here we have the PC sprue, the polycap sprue. It's kind of nice because there's not a lot of them in there, so that's kind of cool. Last but not least, we have the sticker sheet, and this is just to go. This is just around the eye, you know, to go around the eye area here, or the camera area. And I believe that's for the beam bazooka. So I believe they have red eyes, not, not green. All right. So that's the Dom Troopa. Uh, let's get this guy built. Let's get him on the uh, 
in the old display there and see what he looks like compared to some of the other suits. All right, sit tight. All right, here is the um, Dom Trooper Desert Type and everything that comes in the box. Um, there's a bunch of extra little bits. You get, well, you get these four, the four rocket grenades. <clears throat> and you get a, a trigger finger hand for the left hand. And you get an emote, you know, the emote slappy hand. You get part of the lower torso. It's that part right there. See? And then you get like an extra set of magazines for the machine rifle. And then there's four of these. I believe they probably would have went on the different ver variant of the Dom. So not too bad. Not not a lot of wasted. Too much wasted stuff. And I could probably use some of those extra biddies for like uh, conversions and stuff like that. These all can be attached to the back of the Dom. But I didn't want to go through all that right now because it's just there's a lot of stuff on this model. <clears throat> So you can see there's a lot of detail on here. I did some panel lining, not too much, um, because I, I'm probably going to paint this guy. So I didn't want to go overboard. I just wanted to give it just a couple little lines just to give him some some look there. So you, you can attach the rifle to the back there, which is cool. I always like that the Xeon suits have that ability. Like you can just, they got a little spot for their, their weapons. You've got the heat rod there. I uh, paint that. And you can see... There's extra magazines for the beam bazooka. And the beam bazooka is huge. There's another extra magazine. There's magazines for the... And he's got these real chunky legs. Like, And he's got... Like the other Dom... I mean, I, I'm not a real big fan of the Doms. So, I, don't, I you know, I, it's probably like out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. But he's got this huge thing here that I don't see on the regular Doms. So, I mean, I'm assuming it's part of the desert type thing. <clears throat> so, that's pretty cool. I like, I like the, the aesthetic of this one. Um, as opposed to the standard Dom. His little flaps move here. Uh, and he's, because he's got like different details here. Like all this stuff is not the same as the standard Dom. So you could get another Dom and it'd be okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like you're repeating kits or anything like that. But uh, detail is pretty good for a high grade, you know, standard. Very, very minimal posing because his feet are so chunky. You know, like he's not gonna, he's not gonna do any ballet, ballet or anything like that. I mean, look, he can barely. You know, the skirt is just too much. So, you know, you're gonna pose him, and that's it. You know what I mean? Like just let it be. You know, it's one of those kind of kits. Um, it was fun though, fun build, quick, really quick build, easy. It's an older kit from what I understand, so it didn't take too much to get it done. Uh, but uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, was it worth it? Sure, you know. Um, and I got it right, I got it at a good price. It was like um, 20 I think, or right around $20. And I got it from Leaping Panda Hobbies. Um, and they ship like super fast. So it was really, I got it like within a couple of days. It was really cool. Um, and I got such a good deal. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to grab it because, you know, for that price. You know what I mean? I, you know, I wanted another Xeon suit. And, uh, you know, it was a good deal. So you can still find them. I don't know if you can find this one for that price. But you can still get them if you look, I guess. But there you go. That is the Dom Troopa Desert Type. He's got some really big mitts look at the size of this dude's hands look at that <laughs> there you go all right guys as always like subscribe share and we'll catch you on the next one